I'm curious as to what the two of you who have been here at the journal since its inception, what you were thinking about when you started it and why you thought it would fill a niche. The, the obvious uh, incentive was that we were pretty convinced we were filling a gap, that there was not a journal out there targeted uh, as exclusively on the capital markets as this one. And so capital markets issues got tucked into journals with a broader remit, banking, finance more broadly. Uh, and we thought that um, there was definitely an audience with real appetite to concentrate on any number of issues uh, that had captured our imaginations that were more purely capital markets issues. The less obvious um, incentive was the fact that um, over the years, practicing in a very international uh, arena, we had come to know and respect a very special group of people, many of whom had reached that point in their careers where it was realistic to think that they would be um, keen to collaborate. I'm still confused about this, but what did you guys have in mind when you said capital markets? For my purposes, it's the international financial markets, not just securities, uh, bonds and shares, but also derivatives, over-the-counter securities, uh, the, the, the mechanisms for uh, raising capital to, I suppose, in, in most uh, people's ideas would be to fund the real economy. I had been for a while uh, heavily involved in the uh, development of regulation and, and law that affected the capital markets. And uh, of course, we live in a very active time, both in the development of the markets and also in the regulation of those markets. Uh, it was changing before the financial crisis, and it's changing even faster after the crisis. And uh, the thing that interested me about the journal is that it was a mechanism for putting together both the academic uh, interest in the developing regulation and also the practitioner interest in what was happening to our markets. And perhaps to give a, uh, a, an overview of both aspects, bring them together it, within the journal, and thereby to help uh, with the process of uh, regulating the markets, uh, re-engineering re the markets, so they not only achieved uh, a useful purpose, but also did that without the unintended consequences of poor, poor regulation.